Hi everybody, my name is Maurus Candilso. I'm a field application engineer for ST Microelectronics. I cover the MAM sensor and today we're gonna present a particular kind of a pressure sensor, so a barometer, but with the capability to be water resistant up to 10 bar. For which kind of application? Application like wearable, application where you need to have the level of pressure, but you want to be also resistant at the water. So the device that now we are talking is LPS 33HW. In my PC, I just download, download from st.com the data sheet. Here you have a better idea how is the device. You have a picture here. If you see, is a metal lid, particularly is a cylindrical metal lid, and around the metal lid you can adjust the O-ring to make a ceiling on your, uh, let's say, final application and adjust your housing. So let's this look a little bit better about the characteristic of this device. So this device is uh, a barometer, can work in SPI or in S2C. The supply voltage can go from 1.6 volt up to 3.6 volt. Has the capability to change the auto data rate, depend uh, and uh, depend on your application, and also the capability to work in low power mode, in high performance mode. How we, we want to demonstrate uh, this device today? We are using a motherboard, the motherboard is called a motion board. Uh, on top of that, we are using a 24 pin dual inline adapter board with the LPS33 HW embedded on it. The device has been connected to my PC through a USB cable. You need just to download uh, the STM32 uh, drivers in order to have the possibility to com communicate to virtual COM port. And we are using a particular kind of uh, uh, graphical user interface software that is called Unico. The Unico GUI interface has several tabs. One is the Options tab. The Options tab, you have a button that is called easy configuration. If you press it, you basically try to configure in an easy way the device uh, in a sort of a very pretty default configuration at 25 Hz of uh, ODR, but you can also change if you, if you want to set a different kind of configuration. Here you have also a tab with all the register, and that help you to read and write a single configuration register. And let's see what's going on. Here you have the graph, here you have the temperature on top, and you have also the pressure level. So let's see if it's really water resistant, this device. So I take this board and I pull inside the water, see what's going on. So if I put just inside this water, I can see the pressure level is changing. Okay, let's drop a little bit the board inside and I see the pressure level is changing. If I really drop the board on top, on the whole, the, and you can see the variation of pressure and also the temperature, because the temperature of the water is different with respect to the outside temperature. Let's try to remove and see how much is the, con the let's say, recovery time. Pretty instantaneously. So I really come back immediately to the previous pressure level. Also, the temperature is adjusting to the previous uh, value. Let's try to do another more time to be sure that it's really water resistant. This device is not or not. Let's drop it again and see what's going on. Yeah, I can still see the variation of pressure and temperature. So let's remove it and see the recovery time. And we demonstrate another time that the device and the relative board is really waterproof, water resistant up to 10 bar. So thanks uh, for the attention. This is the presentation for today. And if you want to have like more information, please go to st.com and type LPS33HW, a water resistant up to 10 bar device for your application. Thanks.